Welcome back to Gorma Here TV. What an exciting end to the first half of the season we had. And that's why we celebrate another win against old rivals, Tusker FC, in our match of the month. I'm Samuel Molo, aka Pamzo, and I'm proud you're watching Gor TV. Kogalo. And the mere mention of Samuel Molo conjures up images and memories of the unthinkable on the pitch. Join us as we celebrate the legend that is Pamzo. I'm Edward Quach, and this is God My Here TV. We start this episode with the match of the month, the city, Kisumu, our ceremonial home, the opponent, old rivals, Tusker FC. 14 games in and the mighty Kogalo had managed to get through unbeaten, unscathed so far in the first half of the season, and we were looking to keep the streak alive for one more game before the mid-season break. However, we were playing a side that we have struggled against in the past. Not to say that the Brewers have our number, but in our last eight encounters, we have drawn four times, we have lost two and won two. The old saying goes, if it ain't broke, then don't try and fix it. Words that our coach lives by. So fittingly, Frank Natal fielded a first 11 that has worked for us for the majority of the campaign. Goalkeeper, Boniface Watch, who had not conceded in nine consecutive fixtures. Defenders, Karim Zigiamana, Abuba Sibomana, Harun Shakava, and Captain Musa Mohamed. In the engine room, Colin Zakot, Halid Aucho, Joffrey Walusimbi, and the lethal Ali Abondo. Michael Lulunga and Medica Gary led from the front. It was a tight fixture. With not too much action during the first 45, both sides playing cautious football, making it almost impossible to break one another down. There has been a history of defensive battles between us and the Brewers, and this one looked to follow the normal pattern. The second half began very much the same way. We pressed and pressed, but fighting that cutting edge of the final third proved difficult. Of course, when you have special talent like Karim Zigiamana and Medica Gary, even the stingiest of defenders can be picked apart. The big moment came in the 77th minute when the two combined for the only goal of the game. Kagere darted from his markers to head home this Zigiamana cross from the right. Dropped into the area, this one is in the net. It's Medi Kagere. He has really worked hard to try and get this ball in. He sets a a massively big celebration at the Moy Stadium in Kisumu. The only goal of a difficult afternoon and Godoma here FC went into the mid-season break unbeaten. 10 clean sheets for the keeper and a moment that will remain in the mind and heart of Medica Gary for a lifetime. And it might have been this game and that goal that caused you to choose Kagere as your player of the month. It was a big afternoon for Medica Gary and he has certainly become a fan favorite here at Gorma Here FC. It's not often that you find someone so humble with so much talent. A person who is soft-spoken and a real family man in this day and age of loud superstars. But that is Medica Gary. Like a superhero, the mild-mannered forward transforms on the pitch, becoming a real thorn in the side of opposition defenders. And at the end of the first leg, Kagere had scored nine goals, making him joint top scorer with teammate Ali Hassan Abondo. It's hard to believe that at such a young age, Kagere has already experienced so much. He has played for a number of clubs in Rwanda, as well as in Tunisia for African giants Esperance and in Albania for Tirana. But it is at Gorma here where he is enjoying his football the most. Okay, before I came to Gorma here, I was playing in Europe, Tirana FC. Uh, and when I finished my contract, actually I was in contact with the Gomayo officials, 
and my agent also. So this time I wanted to, to share the life in, in Kenya and I wanted to try it and see how it can be. Well. Before, I know Gomaya wanted me before, I went to Tunisia and so I had to look for the chance and try and see my luck. I thank my teammates. Because one best thing is, when, once they welcome you, the way they welcome you, that's when you can enter into the game and enter into the team very fast. So the way I came, they are so friendly. You know, they like, you know, they like that partnership of we are one team, you know. So the one playing is not me alone, but the whole team. And I just thank them a lot. You know, the way they welcomed me, that's what made me to get into the game very quickly and to the team. The fans love him. They sing for him week in and week out. And fittingly, they've given Kagere a nickname. That nickname, Luanda Magere. Kagere may not know much about the legendary Luanda Magere, but we can certainly enlighten him. Luanda was a mighty warrior of the Luo community who came from the Sido clan that neighbored the Nandi community. A superhero that was rumored to possess unearthly powers. They even say that his flesh was made of stone. Arrows, spears, and clubs simply deflected from his body, making him invincible during warfare. He was famously known for his capability to tear an entire army apart. Perhaps there is something in that comparison. For Mehdi, it is about giving the fans what they want on the pitch every weekend. Gomayan fans, they're interesting. I just love to see them in the stadium. Everyone playing, I just always think of them, you know. And that's what always, you know, guides me to do something that is not expected, you know. They are fantastic. They are so good. I just like them the way they like the team. They are always behind the team. They are always, you know, trying to push the team to do something, at least if it's not happening. And he certainly played his role in the 15 match and beaten run during the first leg. Actually, it takes a lot to understand for the striker what he's doing. But for every striker's action depends on how perfect he is. Things come when you're perfect in your thing. You know, the way they come, they happen. You know, football is a, a game of chances. And it comes about all the mistakes that have been done. That's when you can score a goal. What I thought of before, before I came, it was different from what I'm seeing, actually. Yeah, before, I didn't know how the league is. I didn't know how is football in Kenya. And I was like, it's where I'm going, actually, trying to improve my football or I'm just going to let my football go down. But of a certain, what I, ha what I got into is just different, more different, because the football here is just competitive. Each team you play, each defender you face, you know, they are all competing on one thing. It's, it's not easy now, whoever you're playing, because it's a competitive, you know, league. It's a strong league. I, I didn't know it's a strong league before, before I came. Here, is to 15 more. We're just happy he plays for us and not the opposition. When we return to God My Here TV. We talk second leg, transfers and our dream for a perfect season. And we sit down with Kogalo legend, Sami Omolo. We'll be right back. I'm Samuel Molo, a.k.a. Pamzo, and I'm proud you're watching Gore TV. Kogalo. Welcome back to Gorma Here TV. In Kogalo News this week, we look at the firepower that has been added during the mid-season transfer window. We added more attack to the most deadly offense in the league by signing former Sony Sugar and Sofapaka forward Enoch Agwanda. Agwanda 
a national team star, brings his additional punch up front and will definitely add to the already lethal attack of Michael Olunga, Ali Obondo and Medica Gary. Aguanda left Sofa Paka for mutual consent and God TV welcomes the veteran striker to the home of the champions. We are, however, saying goodbye to defender Kevin Onwatch, who has moved on to Muhoroni Youth. Onwatch has been key to the God My Here defense during the 2013 season where he played in the right back position. He has been one of the major contributors in the modern God My Here dynasty. For the second year running, God of Mahia will be Kenya's flag bearers in the East and Central Africa Club Championships Kagame Cup in Dar es Salaam. After the experience of last year, where we finished without a win, the Kenyan champions return determined, experienced, and hopefully strong enough to mount a major challenge. God Mahia last won the Sakafa Cup in 1985 when they beat local rivals AFC Leopards in the finals in Sudan. It will be 30 years since the mighty Kogalo touched the title and they go to Tanzania with hope of success. As do the millions of fans around Kenya, Africa and the globe. A man who knows a thing or two about winning in a Kogalo jersey is legend Samuel Molo. He's also one of God Mahia's biggest fans. He never misses out of the club activities. He interacts freely with the fans. They love him and they call him Bamzo. His passion and love for God Mahia is immense. Since his father, Dishono Molo, a diehard fan of the club, introduced him to God Mahia when he was a young boy, Sammy was sold on the green machine. I think uh, I started supporting Gor when I was, I was young. And uh, my dad was a big fan of Gormaya. Apart from only big, being a big fan of Gormaya, my dad was the chairman, ch uh, supporters chairman. And I remember there's a time when I went to the stadium when I was still young. And uh, my dad had a group. And they all, they, 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 before the match, I remember we went to Bama. We had some meal there with his friends. And then right away, I think it was around, uh, it was around noon. And the match was starting, was starting at four. So noon, we went to the stadium. And to my surprise, the stadium was filled up. That shows you how passionate, uh, I mean, Gurmaya fans were there, uh, were there at that time. So, and this really encouraged me. And I like to, I like the uh, Gurmaya so much. He joined the club at a relatively young age but was welcomed by some of the Kogalo legends. Little did he know that one day, he would be mentioned among the club legends. I joined Gormaya in 1992, and uh, Gor at that time, they had a very strong team when I was joining. That was in early 90. I went to Kenya Breweries, and uh, I played for two seasons. Then uh, Gormaya approached me. I didn't hesitate. I went there. I remember that time, it was Len Julian who was, uh, who was the Gormaya coach. And uh, he used to pay visit to my place in Gara because they were very good. Uh, they were very good uh, f uh, friends with my dad, and it was not easy. He just convinced me that um, Sami, come and play for Gore. Since I'm there, I think I'll give you good direction, and that is how I ended up uh, uh, playing for Gore Maya. And he enjoyed the experience of playing for the club. The passion was almost abnormal, especially during the derby days. Derby games, and uh, it was intense. One week before that match, you could see the pressure during training in your family from the fans because um, one week before that match, I used to see Gormaya fans attending the, the, uh, our training in numbers, and they could monitor you then if there is anything that they feel that uh, you're not doing right, it was very difficult for you to play that derby. And as a player, we were really motivated for that. My first derby against FC Leopards, it was in Nyao Stadium. And this is one thing I'll never forget. Even I always tell my boy. In the first 10 minutes, 
FC got a goal. You know, when we, we were scored, I saw Tobias Ochola literally crying because we have conceded that goal. And I was really shocked because it's something that I was I had not seen. I had not seen, and it was my first time. And that is when I realized that uh, football is not about it's not about joke. If somebody is man, who is man enough is crying because we have uh, conceded a goal, this is something that uh, it's not a joke. And uh, he's not only crying because he's weak. He was crying because the passion in it, the passion that he had for the club. And your discipline was really, really high. Your focus was really, really high. What you were just thinking was the derby. Regardless where the hotel is from the stadium, I remember there used to be an escort, the police escort, the motor riders, they used to come there. It was more than an international game. One thing that I used to interest me is Gormaya, if you have gone to City Stadium, Gormaya will use the right road when they are going to City Stadium. FC Leopards will use the opposite road and they will see you safely inside the stadium. So that is how intense the derbies were. When Amolo finally took over the reins of the club as coach, he wouldn't experience the same success. However, he is still credited for the introduction of young players. It's a big, it's a big pressure. Coaching Gore, there is a big pressure there. Because one thing, I believe fans, they don't know loss. All the time, they want the team to win. Whether you're having problems or you're not having problems, what they want is win. So there's a lot of pressure if you're playing, if you're playing and also when you're coaching. Because um, I remember early, late 90s when I was still a coach player. We didn't have money. The club didn't have money. There was no training ground, adequate training ground. But the fans won't care. Anytime we had a match, the fans they won't care whether you are training or you, you are not training. What they normally wanted was results. And you know, what, if you want results, there has to be good organization. At that time, I think there was no good organization. Late 90s. And I'm really happy what is happening now because we have sponsorship. It has really turned the image of Gormaya. And of course, passionate fans. We have passionate fans. Because I remember when we were playing, the fans were there, but it was not green. But nowadays, when Gourmet is playing, you see the ground, the, I mean, the fans, everybody's putting ground, and it, I think it really motivates the, 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 the players. He's had some success as a coach in Kenya's Premier League, though. The former international guided Tusker to their 10th league title at the end of the 2011 season. Tusker ended their 30 game season with 58 points, losing only six matches. He also bagged the Coach of the Year in both the 2011 Football of the Year Awards and the Safaricom Sports Personality of the Year Awards ceremonies. He is truly one of Kenya's most decorated football legends. And Pamzo certainly feels that the current God May Hear side can go all the way and win the league and the Eastern Central African Club Championships. First as being an, a legend, legend player of Gormaya. I would love to see them finishing this league unbeaten. It's something that uh, is not easy. It needs a lot of work. It needs a lot of dedication. And uh, it needs a lot of commitment from players and also from the officials. So far, I think Gormaya is playing very good football. They have a very good squad all-round squad, because we are talking about a team that is unbeaten in, our, in Kenya League, very competitive league, and then we are talking about a squad that um, has depth, because football is about competition. As a person, I made a lot of friends, because uh, within football fraternity, and also my life outside football. Then, of course, when you're traveling, 
it changes it changes your mind you see how other people other have cultures how they are they're behaving you see how other people are changing approaching their lives and also also through football i think uh, i met so many people who gave me good advice apart from my dad they gave me very good advice positive advices that are really helping me up to now then of course I've met a lot of coaches and of course making decisions. There is nothing in life that is hard than making good decisions. You can make a good decision and it turns to be a very bad decision. It messes you up. But the important thing is how you're going to come up out of that disappointment. I think uh, the team is moving in the right direction and uh, Sekafa, unless they don't want to win it but they should, they should win it this season. That's all the time we have for this month, so join us next month for more from the Kenyan Premier League champions, Gormai here FC. Thanks for watching, and bye for now. This one is in the net. It's Medi Kagere. He has really worked hard to try and get this ball in. He's survived a massively big celebration of the Moy Stadium in Kisumu. And look at the defiance on his face as well. That says, look, it's fine on your own. Well, you can imagine just how many people are holding their breath.